right, so I'm going to show you how to use audio with video. Uh, it's usually going to happen automatically, uh, but just to reference what I spoke about in the audio series, uh, when you add a video file, you need to actually patch in your audio. Um, in most cases, if this is just going to be an earphone jack that comes out of your computer, that will not be an issue. Um, I tend not to use my earphone jack in the computer because after you put the plugs in and out every single day, it takes about a year or two before you wear out your uh, plug in your computer or worst case scenario, they trip over it and, and, and break the plug, which has happened to me quite a few times, unfortunately. So now I always buy a uh, small little hub like this. I've got about three in my box right here that are all getting connected at the same time. And as you can see, there's a little uh, audio jack output, and that's the uh, one of the many multiple outputs that I have available. Um, so we're going to go over to our software um, settings here, our settings in QLab rather, and you can see our different, our eight different audio patches. And uh, as you can see, the cable creation is the actual microphone that I'm using to film this video. Um, CDO4 is another hub that I have for another output, which is the one I use for my show. And then, of course, the display port, which is the HDMI screen. Uh, and then, of course, you have your uh, regular built-in output. So just for this purpose here today, we're gonna have it come out of the speakers of the computer where I could transfer it to my uh, screen. If you use HDMI in your show, um, a lot of times the audio guy can actually get the audio from the HDMI uh, into the house system, which means you plug in your HDMI and the, the audio is already, you just patch in QLab to the audio there and that solves that problem as well. Um, but make sure you patch in audio. Once you've patched in audio, that little, uh, little X goes away, saying you have proper audio. If you do not have audio, the video will not play because it's missing uh, something it needs to play. So, in this case, this is a background video that I actually created um, for a story in my show where I speak about uh, previous productions that we created and how different the shows can be. Um, this video has some very low, quiet music in the background and uh, I wanted to show you how you can keep the same video and swap out audio very easily or have control over your audio. So let's say you don't like this track anymore or it doesn't fit the story you're doing. Uh, you can go in here or just need to adjust the volumes on it. Um, you can go in here and go to audio levels and you can grab the main volume of that track and you have full control over the volume of that individual video file, okay? You can take it all the way down to zero and leave it at zero the entire time. And while that video is playing, you can go in here and uh, lower that volume slightly as well. And you can change the audio that goes with that video. And now you're playing a video track and an audio track on top of each other at the same time. So let's do that automatically by hitting stop. We're gonna grab the audio track and put it into that group and uh, when we fire both of these, you'll now get the new audio track with the video and you don't even need to go to Final Cut and edit the new track. Um, so that makes life very, very easy. Of course, there's a million different features you could run multiple audios um, at the same time. I'm gonna show you a very cool feature where you can use ducking later on where you can actually change the audio of a track um, just by playing another track. So we'll get to that video later, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you can use this, and uh, next video.